Well, Glenn and Alan, I know you guys both can feel this family's pain as I have. Anybody that's had to make a major move from any state knows that you have those decisions that you make of what stays and what goes. The most important things, they go in the moving trailer, right? Now, just imagine arriving at your destination and less than 24 hours later, that moving trailer gone with all of your beloved belongings inside. How could you? How could you open that trailer and see all of those things that belong to a family, a family of four that mean nothing to them, but mean the world to us? Michelle Dudzik's family, Dudzik, her two boys, 10 and 12, and her husband arrived back in Michigan Monday after a year and a half in Tennessee. Her husband, a truck driver. Just with the coronavirus and everything, I think just certain certain states and different you know places were affected differently and he just wasn't getting the work there. They were waiting out the final touches to be finished on their home, all that they own in the moving trailer, stolen Tuesday night. Everybody's stuff was in there uh, from, we, from a long time ago. You know, the last 15 years since we've been out and just building, you know, all those things you build over the years. You pick up something here, you pick up something there, and you keep things. My mom passed away a few years ago. All her keepsakes, you know, that were handed down to me are gone. There's irreplaceable pictures in there, irreplaceable baby things that I kept of theirs. Everything's gone. And essentials, clothes, towels. So far, very few leads, if any. Michelle, unsure if detectives have looked or found anything from the nearby Kroger cameras, with time since the crime ticking away. I don't like to ask for help, but it's definitely not for me. I try my best to do what I can on my own, especially I know everybody has their own problems and tragedies. I'm not a big fan of asking for help either, but we're going to do so tonight. If you have any idea of the whereabouts of that trailer, please call Lincoln Park Police. And also, a GoFundMe account has been set up on the family's behalf. We'll have a link to it on WXYZ.com. Live Lincoln Park tonight, Brian Abel, 7 Action News.